Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Called Angela Williams. If you've been following along, this is my um, journey talking about my broken ankle, um, the things that I did um, to help me recover through this journey. So now I'm leading up to the point where um, it's still a week before I do my second follow-up appointment with the orthopedic to see if the swelling has gone down in my ankle so I can have the surgery. Now, if you haven't been watching my videos, please go back to the intro and the previous videos where I talk about how this happened and what has happened that led up to this point. Um, now this, I broke my ankle about two years ago. I'm actually still healing, but I wanted to share my experience because a lot of information that I needed to know wasn't all in one place. So that was the whole purpose of me um, doing this, these YouTube videos, talking about my journey. So I can help people just, you know, you can just one place if you want to find out about something, tips to help you with your broken ankle, how to get up the stairs, you know, um, how to work from home, how to bathe, how to shower, you know, just how to get be more mobile, get packages if you live alone, you have a meal delivery. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, I have one that's called, you know, just, just broken ankle tips, you know, and suggestions to help you along with your journey. And I have a video about how to get up and down the stairs, you know, if you live by yourself, if you're not comfortable going up and down the stairs with crutches. Later on, I'll show you a video though, when I do get more comfortable going up, up, up and down the stairs using natural crutches. And I'll show you videos on how to, you know, bathe yourself with a broken ankle because you can't get it wet, you know, in earth shower. So if you haven't watched those videos, I strongly suggest you watch those videos um, as well. But where I left off with the last video, I was showing you um, how to shower and using a shower bench in the shower. So I said I was going to talk about um, what I did to work from home. Now some of these things um, I didn't have originally when I started working from home. That's why I'm trying to share it with you all. But my husband ordered me... It's called this, um, it's like a laptop, I guess, station or anything, like a desk that you can work from and sit in your bed. So it has this little thing here. You can sit your laptop on, put your little mouse or pen or whatever there. Then on the back side, these are the stands for it. I'm going to show you how this works, okay? Now, I was upstairs in my bedroom. I actually was in my bed using this. I'm working from home, but you can use it if your sofa is big enough. You can use it on this sofa where I'm going to demonstrate today because my husband's actually upstairs sleeping in his bed, so... <laughs> Sleep in bed. So anyway, um, so this has kickstand legs and um, I, they pop out and I'll show you um, a, a picture of this as well. Um, he ordered from off of Amazon and I'll, if I can get the link to that, I'll put the link in it too. But it's, it's off of Amazon. But you simply just pop it open, pop, pop. And it has adjustments on here if you need to go, you know, push it up or down. Um, you have to let this little lever out. It has on both sides. When you get ready to do your adjustment, this locks it back in place. You have to here, make sure it snaps. That way you know it's locked in place. Okay? So then, and you can adjust it. It can be, you know, it can be slanted or if you like it like that. I had mine slanted. Um, it's very adjustable. So, like I said, I'll put a link down to it and I'll, I'll put a picture too. So, let's just pretend, you know, I'm upstairs in my bedroom. My ankle's broke. Now, for demonstration purposes, of course, my ankle's not... I'm healing now from a broken ankle. Like I said, I broke it two years ago. I'm sharing this in hopes to help you be able to be more comfortable working from home if you choose to do so. If you can, work from home with your broken ankle. Um, the purple sock is going to, um, on the left ankle is one that I broke. And most of the time I had on these hospital socks. <laughs> I got it twisted around. But these hospital socks I had on. Or I had socks similar that had the rubber thicker on them. So, okay. So, most of the time I was already in the bed and my husband... I have already set this up for me, and I would just pull it over to me. Um, so anyway, if you live alone, um, hopefully you can get someone to come over to originally set it up for you. Or, you know, if you're working downstairs, you get your package. I did show a video how to get packages you, um, from your door when you, when you live alone, if you don't have anybody to come over. But either way, this will be set up. So, and also, I have these pillows here prop. You can, you know, because you have to elevate your um, ankle to keep the blood flowing, to reduce swelling. And you can either stack up some pillows or you can go back and watch my video about, I showed about this thing you can order called a leg cushion that puts it at the right angle, ang angle that the doctor wants it to be at. So either way, that's fine. As long as you have your leg elevated. So, all right, so we're gonna get this started. Okay. So get comfortable, scooch up if you have to. And you just, like I said, I was up in my bed doing this. But it works downstairs too. I just chose to work in my bed. Okay. Um, it was just easier because I had my outlets 
for my laptop, like for my job. This is not my job laptop. I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. But I had my job laptop up here. And I had my power cord running underneath it to keep it powered up. Then I had my wireless headset phone because I work as a um, software analyst. So I'm on the phone troubleshooting all day. So I had a wireless headset. Um, but I also had it... Um, the stand for the wireless headset sitting here. So when I wasn't on it, of course, I left it on it charging. Um, so anyway, I had my pen here. I had a room for a pad here, you know. So this is how I would work from home. And I had my cell phone on the bed, you know, in case I got a call. And my cell phone with me or anything else I needed, I had on the bed nearby me. Like I said in my previous video, I always have you a bag with all the things that you're going to need most often. I, I, I think if I work down here, I could have my bag over here with all my stuff and medicine. Because I had to, you still have to, I had to take main pain medication. Because at this point, I hadn't had the surgery, right? This is leading up to the second follow-up appointment um, to see the doctor. So I had not had um, the surgery. So I was in a lot of pain. So to put you on these heavy-duty um, pain medications like I had, I had ibuprofen that's supposed to help with inflammation and pain but then I had pain medication I think I think originally for the emergency room I had Percocet and then I think when I first went to the doctor he prescribed um, it was a, a type of opioid um, I can't remember the exact name but I'll do another video and I'll share with you all the different medications um, that I had but um, you have to be careful with the pain medications too so only take it when you absolutely need it to like when I was working I couldn't take the heavy duty pain medication because, you know, they make you very sleepy. So when I was working, I would either take like um, two um, Tylenols and then I might take one ibuprofen um, when I was working. But to be honest with you, that barely maintained the pain. So I was in, <laughs> I have a high tolerance for pain. And so that, um, yeah, that, it was very uncomfortable. And make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Um, my husband had me plenty of fruits nearby, you know, to snack on and so forth. Because he was, he was able to be with me for like the first first month. So I had someone to help me. But if, if you don't, make sure you just have your, all your water nearby, plenty of, you know, uh, fruit. Because when you're on those pain medications, you know, which is a form of opioids, um, you know, you, you can get constipated. So you want to make sure you eat, you eat lots of fiber, drink lots of water, eat lots of fruit. You know, lots of green leafy vegetables so you don't have you know um, difficulties going to the restroom because it's already hard enough trying to maneuver around with the crutches or your walker or whatever you're using to maneuver around with your broken ankle right okay so now we're going to just move on so this is how i was working from from home this is how i was working from home you know i was like hello, hello, blah, blah, blah. you know just working from home doing my thing whatever have my phone, you know, you have your pen or whatever. So this is pretty convenient. I like it. Like I said, it's fully adjustable, just slant it, whatever. Raise it up, raise it down. I'm short, so it's low. Okay, so now, now I'm working from home and everything. And like I said, just be careful with those pain medicines. But let me just tell you a funny story. Um, <laughs> okay, so I didn't realize that maybe it was the pain medication that was making me go through a roller coaster of emotions. I just thought, you know, because I'm waiting to get the surgery. I'm hoping I can get the surgery. Um, soon so like I said this is I had my first follow-up appointment with the doctor two days after I broke my ankle and this is a week after I saw him so uh, it's coming up for me to see him again and see if the swelling has gone down so he can do the surgery so anyway um, one day my husband came upstairs or whatever and I was very emotional for whatever reason and he was like he, he was looking at me like baby you know it's okay it's just a medicine I'm like no it's not the medicine I was like you don't understand you don't know what I'm going through with this ankle and it's very painful and every time I get up it's very painful I don't even want to go to the restroom because it just hurts because at this point you know my ankle is you know it's still broke it's just flapping around every time I move any jolt it's just very painful uncomfortable to sleep with you know so you constantly to, um, you, you may be taking the medicine to help you go to sleep and then you're taking the medicine because you're in pain at the same time so you can you know I can see how people can easily get addicted to pain medication so he was like baby he said are you taking the pain medication because you're actually in pain or you just take it because you want to go to sleep you know and I was like no I was like I'm in pain you don't understand and so he was like it trust me he was like it's the medicine I'm like no it's not and then all of a sudden I was just break out crying and, I was like, oh, oh. and then all of a sudden I just get happy and then all of a sudden I was like I want a cupcake so he was like <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it, it's, trust me, baby, it's the medicine, okay? I'm going to be monitoring you. you <laughs> taking your pain medication. So if that's just a uh, disclaimer right there that I'm putting out there, and I think any physician would say, just be careful when you're taking those pain medications, especially, uh, I think, Percocet and the other kind I have was, it's a form of opioids. And you know we have an opioid epidemic 
um, in, in, in the world here in the nation. So anyway, that's just me talking. That's my disclaimer, but just be careful with those things, okay? All right, so this is what I did at work from home. And and I'll, so I went back to see my doctor, my orthopedic surgeon, you know, um, and I went there and he, you know, looked at my ankle. He said, oh, he said, well, you know, still swole. He said, but the swelling has went down. And I'll show a little um, video clip of him talking about that too, either in the middle of this video or at the end of the, uh, the video, or I just might show just a, a picture of it on my ankle of how it still swole, but he said it was enough that he could do surgery. I was so happy. I was like, yeah, I can have the surgery. So, so, so that appointment was pretty short. So not much to that appointment. They were just, you know, they gave me my surgery date, which back then was, it was on April 24th, 2019. Um, it was going to have the surgery at a um, surgery um, center, not at the hospital, but what they call it Amateur Surgery Center. And um, I had to be there at 8, well, my surgery was scheduled for 8.30, but, you know, I had to be there at 6.30. You know, you have to do the pre-op stuff, and you have to talk to the anesthesiologist and all that fun stuff. But anyway, so they gave me my pre-op paperwork. Let me put, I have my real reading glasses here. Um, gave me, it's called, you know, they gave you like, I had, it's just, it's just like one page. <laughs> And it was like surgery, pre-op, and post-op instructions. Um, and I might, I might put a, a, a glance of what this is. But anyway, um, it says pre-op: no eating or drinking from midnight the night before. Stop taking anti-inflammatories three to five days before surgery, um, such as Advil, Aleve, Motrin, ibuprofen, aspirin. And I was, you know what, y'all, I was on aspirin too. I was taking an aspirin. Um, every day that's what he suggested to help with the swelling and inflammation um if you're on blood thinners contact your cardiologist pcp because obviously if you're on blood thinners for a heart condition they don't want you to necessarily stop taking it three to five days if your cardiologist or pcp say it's not advisable so that was the only pre-op instructions i had and then um after the surgery they give you is post-op instructions um you got to ice and elevate it for 72 hours after the surgery if not prescribed, a blood thinner, take an aspirin daily because aspirin, you know, I think thins out the blood. So if you're already taking a blood thinner, they're like, you know, <laughs> you know, you don't have to um, take the aspirin daily, obviously. Um, do not take off bandages because, I, like I said, it was all, my ankle was all wrapped up in um, ACE bandages or get the bandages wet because uh, you risk signs of infection after you had the surgery. Um, and then they tell you if signs of infection appear, call your office for an appointment if you experience fever redness odor drainage call the doctor's office um they prescribed me motrin six to eight hundred milligrams i still take every six hours and they prescribed me percocet um to take one to two tablets every six hours and that was for for pain and then they had my doctor's name phone number my nurse and the email address uh, for my doctor you know in case you experience any complications after surgery so <coughs> excuse me so i will talk about all of that i'll show the next video show me actually getting ready to um you know go i'm um, at the inventory center we're doing this the surgery and i'll tell you what happens to me after the surgery when the first day when i got home very interesting to, to say the least um so i think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this video and i'm gonna make this one um short so i hope this helps you in some small way but like i said before if you haven't watched my previous videos, please do. There's a lot of good information on those. How, like I said, how to take a shower with the cast on, how to bathe with the cast on. You know, because this, you know, all those videos that I posted before are prior to my surgery. So now I'm going to start sharing things I did after the surgery and what happened um, with that. But please watch this video because it'll, it'll help you. And just the little tidbits and tips, even the tips videos. But if you haven't watched that one, uh, if you're just not joining my channel and seeing this video for the first time, please go back and watch, um, starting from the very first one, the intro to my broken ankle journey, which tells you how I broke my ankle, okay? And then I just lead on with video one, two, three, four, five, six, until I get to this one, all right? Well, anyway, if you like what I'm saying about my broken ankle journey and it's helping you or you know somebody else that this might help, go ahead and like this video. Um, please subscribe. Click the subscribe button. I think it's at the bottom right. Click the subscribe button because that lets you get notifications and let you know when I'm going to post a new video. Um, so like I said, you know, anybody that you know that might be going through this or you feel like this can be beneficial in any form or way, please let them know and have them um, subscribe to my channel. And that is it for now. So take care. Have a good day. Bye.